Hey guys, welcome to this preset installation video. If you're here, thank you for downloading the presets. Um, this video will go through how to get those presets onto your phone. So from the download page on our site to your Lightroom Mobile app on your iPhone or other mobile device where you can use Lightroom Mobile. So the presets work with the free version of Lightroom. Um, no problem, if you have the paid subscription, it'll be even easier for you. Um, so we're gonna explain everything right in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into the desktop computer and see how to download those files. All right guys, so once you've ordered the presets, you're gonna be redirected to this page after your PayPal payment has gone through. So you've got all your information here. You're gonna see that there's a big blue button here to download the presets you're going to see you have three downloads remaining we suggest highly suggest you download them onto a desktop computer to start because if you try to download them onto your phone sometimes what happens is that if your phone doesn't have an app you can open the zip file with then it just won't download so you're better off downloading it here onto your desktop computer and then transferring it to your phone so i'm just going to put the zip folder here onto my desktop um, i already have the presets downloaded so I won't bore you with that. Um, as you can see the format is a zip file and so all you'd have to do here is click save to save them to computer. As I said I already had them downloaded so we're just going to come find that download here on my desktop and here we're going to go and delete this to show you what happens but this is the zip folder that is going to be downloaded to your computer so on an Apple computer you're just going to have to double click on it and it'll open up the contents of the zip folder right into this same file. So you're gonna have this folder now in which we're gonna be able to find those presets. If you're on a Windows, I believe all you have to do is right click and somewhere here you're gonna see that it'll be um, a button saying extract all files. So you would click on that. But on a Mac, all you have to do is double click on it and then you're gonna get the contents of our presets so we're gonna have the nine presets here as DNG files and then the installation guide if you want to follow this PDF you can always follow that if you run into any problems or I'm going too fast for you in this video what we're gonna do now is select all nine of the presets and then drop them onto our phone so if you have an iPhone this is super easy you guys can just use airdrop by going here right clicking selecting share and then selecting airdrop clicking on airdrop and then we're gonna see my iPhone appear as soon as I turn it on. There we go, so our iPhones are here so I'll select the one I wanna send it to and then just click on the iPhone and the DNG folders will now be sent straight to your phone. Another way of doing this would be just to select all nine files and then go to, let's say, Google Drive. Then you would just go here if you don't have airdrop what you could do is you can just take these nine files and put them into your Google Drive, like so. So you could just drop these into your Google Drive and then access Google Drive from your phone to get those files. Okay guys, so once you've imported or airdropped these photos onto your phone, either airdropped or from your Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox, they're gonna be in your photo app so on an iPhone it looks like this and you can see the nine presets are these nine white squares. I'm just selecting them just to show you that we cannot see them because they are DNG files. So what we're gonna have to do is get out of this photo app, go into our Lightroom mobile app, mine is right here, so I'm gonna click on it and that's gonna open up this main Lightroom mobile menu. If you don't have the Lightroom app, go download it from the App Store, the free version and our presets work perfectly fine together. Now we're gonna click on the bottom right corner, this blue button, the left side is gonna to be to import new photos. So we're gonna go ahead and click here, click from camera roll because that's where my Lightroom files are. And we're gonna click here on the top right, the three little dots to select all of these raw files. So these nine black squares now are the nine presets that we just airdropped to ourselves. So we're gonna click add. Now you're gonna see our all photos. See that number going up from 8,100, 51, 52. So that Lightroom is importing now those nine photos. So you're gonna see them starting to appear at the top of my photo library. So that worked out fine. We now have all nine photos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9. So we have the 9 presets. Each preset is represented by one of these photos. So what we're going to have to do next is save these presets onto our Lightroom mobile app so we're able to use them on any single photo that we have. We're going to select Hong Kong and then click on the top right corner again, the little three little dots. Click there and this menu is going to appear. We're going to click on create preset right above slideshow here. We're going to get that preset menu. So this is the menu to create a new preset. We're going to call ours Hong Kong. You can call it whatever you'd like, but just to stick with what the name we gave it, we're going to call it Hong Kong and then create a new preset group as well. So I can put all nine presets into the same group. So we're going to call this, as you can see, I already have a preset group called Mapping Along Essentials because I already have the presets installed, but we can create a new group called um, Install Tutorial Mapping Presets. Then click the check mark in the upper right. Now you're gonna see the preset group is good and the preset name is good. Don't touch these boxes on the bottom, you're going to see that there already should be checked. Then press the top right corner again to create this new preset. So click the check mark and then you'll get this success message saying Hong Kong was added as a preset to our phone. Now we should be able to go and click on any single photo that we have in our phone. This is definitely a phone photo that doesn't have any preset on it. It's just a random photo that I took of Nung Nung Waterfall with my iPhone. Now if we go into this bottom menu here, you're gonna find presets. So you've gotta scroll to the right, select presets. It'll probably bring you to this color preset menu just because those are the default Lightroom presets. Click where it says color on top and then you're gonna get all your preset folders. So you're gonna see the mapping along essential presets. I already had all nine of them installed, so all nine are there but the one we just installed is installed under this one, Install Tutorial Mapping Presets. So I'm gonna click on it and there's Hong Kong. That's the one that we just installed. So if you guys are following along, you're probably going to understand that you're gonna to have to do this for all nine of the presets. And once you've done that for all nine of the presets and given them the appropriate names, then all nine will be under your folder like mine are here. Um, and then you're going to be able to apply basically any one that you'd like to your photo and test them out. So this is the one that we installed. So let's apply it. That looks all right. And hit the check mark in the bottom right. Now that the preset is applied, what we're going to do is show you that there are two settings that aren't ever modified with our presets. So one is the exposure because photos are taken at different exposures and it's better off that we don't adjust this for you. So we're going to draw up the exposure a little bit and our white balance. Our white balance is not touched either because this varies enormously depending on what camera you're taking your, uh, your photo with. Um, so we can go adjust that as we'd like as well. So these are the two main settings you guys are going to have to just play around with a little bit um, and just adjust to your liking. In the light menu, you'll find the exposure and in the color menu, you'll find the white balance. It's the temp and tint sliders. So those you guys can go play around with and that's about it guys. So that's how you install the presets onto your phone. So this one is Hong Kong and if I wanted to, I could go back up and just let's say Changu, do the same thing, click on the three little dots here, go create preset, put in Changu, and then select the preset group that you just created. So for me, it was install tutorial, and then click the check mark again. And then I can probably apply Changu now to any photo that I have. So as you can see in the install tutorial, I now have Hong Kong and Changu in them. I think Changu was actually already applied to this photo. And there we go.